The performing arts are a vital part of any community, really. And I think that it's a, a great opportunity for us to begin to celebrate as a community. It would be a, a, a catalyst project for downtown Greensboro to have Foreman Arts Center located downtown. It's time we rethink how the performing arts fits in the community. Having a facility that ties into our existing cultural arts assets in downtown, such as Triad Stage, such as the Broach Theater, also enhance our concerts and activities and special events. All those cultural things already occur in downtown. The Performing Arts Center would complement what we already have going. Any city is always about growth, and I think when we think about what could happen in downtown Greensboro, what has happened in the eight years that I've been here as a faculty member at UNCG, I see tremendous energy on the street that um, didn't exist when I came, and I think that's a huge change for us. So when you think about the future and things like the potential for a, a downtown performing arts center or any kinds of improvements that go on relative to the downtown space, that kind of is going to build the energy of the city. And building the energy of the city, I think, is, is a thing that tells us that we're healthy, and it's a thing that tells us that we're headed places, and I think those are, are good key ideas for the future. And it's been proven that, that what downtown performing arts centers do is they do draw people into the downtown area, and these uh, state-of-the-art performing arts centers are able to recruit Broadway productions, musicals, and, and other such venues that, that a typical Coliseum complex may not be able to recruit. I think we could spend a whole lot more money renovating the War Memorial Center and at the end of the day end up with something less than perfect. Whereas if we build something from scratch, from the ground up in downtown, I think we'll get a lot more people excited and energized about a performing arts center. And I think it helped uh, a lot of businesses downtown, um, the restaurants and the shops and, and other businesses downtown, because we'd be drawing people in, more people into our downtown, and that'll help and everything. It'll help, um, it'll help uh, leasing and apartments and uh, condos and, and all other businesses downtown. It's my belief that the performing arts and what they bring to a community, performing arts are vital, really. They reflect a culture. So more than just entertainment value, although that's in there, what happens with the training for our young students is they get their degree and there's no inf infrastructure outside of their university training to support a career. How do they continue on? So a wonderful uh, conduit to a professional career in the world outside would be something like uh, a downtown performing arts center where they could perhaps intern or even have careers. Arts patrons in Greensboro spend an average of $17 per visit to these kinds of cultural events. Nationally, that number is $30 per visit. That represents an untapped demand for other services that are connected to our arts and cultural communities, most likely in dining and other entertainment. So by connecting a facility into our existing infrastructure in downtown because of our existing shops, because of the existing restaurants and other art and cultural attractions, we can grow that tax base further to stimulate more economic development activity within downtown and the community.